Okay, Google. What is the time right now? The time is 11.30 p.m. Okay, Google. How's the weather today? The forecast tonight is 81 and clear with some cloudy spells. Right now, it's 81 with smoke. Um, okay, so that was a demo of a simple Google Assistant and you must have used that Google Assistant in your mobile phones, right? In your smartphones, basically, I would like to say. So in this video, what we are going to do is that we are going to integrate that Google Assistant on our Ubuntu desktops, okay? So as you saw the demo, we are going to do the same thing in this video. So let's get started. So I will be following um, a step-by-step -step tutorial provided by Google itself. Um, it's uh, an overview of the Google Assistant library for Python. Okay, so we are going to use this tutorial to integrate Google Assistant in our desktop. So I'm going to use um, Ubuntu desktop. So the step one is to set up the hardware and the network access. So this is the step one and under this step you need to have a computer with a supported architecture and by supported architecture they mean that you should satisfy these properties. Um, so basically your system must be um, of this configuration okay and other than that you need to have a proper microphone a speaker and some other utilities like keyboard mouse or monitor yeah so these are some of the things that you will need other than that you need a net internet connection okay so in order to use google assistant you need to have a proper internet connection as well okay so now the step two is um, simply a testing step in which um, you can just test if your speakers are working or not. So you can just follow these commands to check that. Okay, so that's simple. And then here we come to the main step, which is to configure a developer project and account settings. So basically, in order to use the Google Assistant API, you need to have a Google project. Okay, so in order to create a project, you need to go to the cloud platform console and this is how it looks like um, on the main page you can see all the projects that you already have and you can also create a new project by clicking here so I'm going to use an old project which is um, named Nick Ubuntu okay so this is my project page okay so the next step is to enable the Google Assistant API for your project okay so let me enable the API So basically if you want to use any Google API you need to enable it for your project okay so in my case it's already enabled right that's why it's showing the disable button so if I click on it um, okay so this is how it will look like for you uh, if you have uh, if you haven't already enabled the Google Assistant API for your project so all you need to do is that just click on this enable button and Google Assistant API will be enabled for your project okay so this was the step 2 and then you need to create a you need to create an uh, create an OAuth client ID so basically this uh, um, client ID will be used for your authentication for the authentication of your um, Google Assistant API request that will go from your desktop okay so for that um, all you need to do is that you need to select the application type as other and just give it any name like I am giving it the name Nick Ubuntu credentials and then create it so basically you're going to create a client ID and a single project can have multiple client IDs as you can see there I have three three client IDs here right so all you need to do is that simply download the JSON file download the credential sec uh, client secret JSON file okay so once this step is done now we move on to the next step which is to download the library and run the sample okay so I need to install a Python package called Google Assistant library okay so um, let me clear it all okay so all you need to do is that you need to use a simple pip command to install Google Assistant library And other than that you will also need another tool uh, which is also a Python package 
it's google auth google auth oauth lib so this is another python library which you will need to install for authentication purpose so these two libraries need to be installed okay so i already have them so it must show that requirement is already satisfied okay so let's move on to the next step which is to run that um, oauth tool which we just downloaded right which we just installed basically so this is the command so this command will do what um, it will use your client secret json file and create a credentials.json file which will be used by my uh, by my python um, program to interact with the um, google assistant api okay so for that i am simply going to copy it here let me clear that first okay so you need to give the path to your client secret json file so i have that file in my downloads folder um okay so here it is let me copy its name and then i put json at the end okay so this is the complete command which will uh, run the oauth tool for me okay so it is asking me to open this link in my browser and then now it is asking me to provide access to my account to the google assistant so i'm just going to allow that and now i have to just copy this code and put it on the terminal right there so yeah my credentials have been saved as credentials.json uh, in some folder which has been shown here okay so this is how we have completed the uh, authentication step so now all we need to do is to move on to the next step which is to run the sample okay so we are going to run a sample which is simply google assistant demo okay let's see mm. okay google what are you doing just, just learning, learning some, some riddles. riddles okay google what is the time right now the time the is 11:37 pm right, so it's working fine right so uh, we have just implemented and integrated google assistant on our ubuntu desktop and it's working really fine so um, this is how you integrate google assistant to your ubuntu desktop and i hope it was clear and if you have any doubts you can post them in the comment section below and in the next video we'll be um, trying to do some more modifications to the actual um, code uh, for interacting with the google assistant api and give some more powers to our google assistant okay so that's it from this video and thanks for watching